like a school bus in the yellow wheel and aerospace technologies aircraft doing a torque roll. Now watch him, the tumbling that he does on the vertical. Gravity will win here, but let's watch now as he does a little inside flip, or if you will, call it the world's smallest inside loop. Zero airspeed, he goes to the hammerhead stall turn and goes into a flat spin. The airplane is now falling. It was falling at about 3,000 feet a minute. Look at the precision. When he pulls to the vertical, you will see a little change in the smoke and the line of smoke right there. You see how that smoke changed? That is what a little teeny jerk on the stick will do to indicate to an aerobatic judge that he is in the pure vertical mode. There's the inside flip, three quarters of it. The inside. Bradley serve in the U.S. Coast Guard even today. The MH-60T is a medium-range search and rescue helicopter. It cruises around 123 MH-60T helicopters and three HC-144 fixed-wing aircraft. They maintain the ability to launch their e either aircraft in less than 34, 30 minutes. 2023 Beth Page Air Show at Jones Beach starts now. Hello, everybody. My name is Rob Ryder, and I am so, so glad to be back for my 18th out of 19 years here at Jones Beach. This is one of my favorite shows from all over the country, not just because of the, the scope of the show and the great lineup that it is, but more so because of the people that I get to work with and have become friends with here over the years. You've got a great State Parks Department here, Chip Gorman and, and Jessica Louise Anderson, and uh, wow, what a treat it is to, uh, to be here again. All of these acts that are going to be performing for you are excited about it. Not the least to mention David Windmiller, your own solo aerobatic performer who will be showing off his skills in his extra 300. And the Sky Typers from right here in the New York area as well. As a matter of fact, we will actually see them at some point. Sky typing above the beach at an altitude of over 9,000 feet above the ocean. If right now you will look almost directly overhead, you will see the dash eight of the Golden Knights. Alongside it, Michael Goulian. This is private in the middle of private individual. And in just a moment, Three jumpers from the Golden Knights, the U.S. Army parachute team, will be airborne. They will step out of that aircraft and free fall at... This is the way to start it. But if I may, let me share with you something about what we're about to see and participate in. The year was 1814. Our young United States of America was involved in the War of 1812, what many historians believe to be our second War of Independence. And on September 13th of 1814, an American attorney was taken to a British ship in Baltimore Harbor to arrange a prisoner exchange. And while he was aboard that ship, he witnessed a 25-hour shelling of Baltimore's Fort McHenry when some 1,500 cannonballs, mortars, and shells were fired above the fort. And overnight, that attorney felt that the, that the fort would fall to the British. But the next morning, he didn't see a white flag of surrender. Instead, he saw a huge... 32 foot by 40 foot American flag flying above the fort, indicating an American victory. That attorney was also an amateur poet, and he was inspired to write a poem that he called The Defense of Fort McHenry. All connected. in a sky that could not be any more beautiful than it is right now.
Oh, look at that. My love, look at that. Their army airborne division. This is the first time that we've had a tri-by-side flown in by the Golden Knights. Watch them as they go into what is called a down plane. And shortly, one of those jumpers will call a signal for the three of them to depart. And the American flag will be brought in. Now, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are within the sound of my voice, I'd ask that you please rise, remove your caps. If you're in uniform, please come to attention as we sing our national anthem. gentlemen a big round of applause for your united states army parachute team the golden knights what a treat what a tremendous jump and they will be back for their full show helicopters 
and three HC-144 fixed-wing aircraft. They maintain the ability to launch their e either aircraft in less than 34, 30 minutes, 24 hours a day, and 365 days a year in nearly all weather conditions. It's the only Coast Guard aviation facility in the Northeast and responsible for wa the waters off of New Jersey to the Canadian border. This aircraft is piloted by Lieutenant Commander Alex Martville, home, whose hometown is Arkansas, and Lieutenant Colton Atkinson from Georgia. The flight mechanic is Petty Officer Logan King from Maine, and the rescue swimmer is Petty Officer Tattoo Evans. It's interesting, it's interesting Mike, that you can get men and women from different Coast Guard air stations who've never worked together and perform like a well-oiled machine, never having met one another if they step inside an aircraft like this. Absolutely. As part of today's demonstration, the air crew will simulate the rescue at sea of a person in the water. Once in a hover, in a hover the aircraft is Guard Joint Base McGuire, Dix Lakehurst McGuire Air Force Base, New Jersey, the 109th Air National Guard Station, New York, the 177th Fighter Wing in Atlantic City, 305th Air Mobility Wing at important aircraft in warplanes of all time. Let's listen to the sound of this V-12 engine. that was created to figure out a way to build enough engines to make it possible to handle the fleet because they only lasted about, what, 400 hours before they swapped them out. The Packard Motor Guard Company 